Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's King Raj of the most taught Chutney Soka band in America, the Supertones Band, and you are watching Linda Sing on, I can't find it, Finding Wisdom TV. Boom! Welcome to the Finding Wisdom Show. My name is Linda Singh, and I have a very special guest with me today. I have the one and only King Raj, Chutney Soka Maestro. Today, we're going to talk about some of the new things that he's working on, and we're going to get to know a little bit more about him, who he is, what he's about, and where he's going. Anyway, for everyone out there who's been dying to have King Raj on the show, he's here with us today. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Linda. It's uh, uh, an honor to be here finally. It's been so long that uh, we've been talking back and forth, and, and I'm just privileged to be here with the oh-so-genuine <laughs> uh, TV host herself, Linda, for, from Finding uh, Wisdom TV. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so humble. It's just wonderful. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> I, love, I love that. I love the fact that you're so humble, and, and you, you're so awesome. You do so many things. Uh, you've come a far away. I, I've got to congratulate you. Thanks so much. Well, they say jack of uh, many <laughs> trades, master of none. That's probably me, right? <laughs> no, you're a jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> big things. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. And I yes. appreciate you following me and keeping up with uh, social media and seeing what I'm doing and, and taking an interest. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Definitely. Um, it's always good to learn about an artist and where they came from and get an idea of where they're going. And I, I know you have this new song out called Pressure. That's right. And you have me singing the song in the shower. I'm in the shower and I'm like, uh, I'm, you know, the beat is so cool that I keep singing Pressure, Pressure. Ah. <laughs> what, um, it, it, you know, I'm like, wait a minute, what am I singing? Can you tell me a little bit about the song? Absolutely. Um, we did this a few, uh, very recently, we, we started the recording on this project for the song called Pressure, and this was this year, 2015. Um, Chutney Soka, more of a Soka song actually, and it's on the Lime Wash Rhythm, and that's a uh, music instrumental that the manager of our band, Avi, produced in the studio, in the Supertone studio. And the lyrics are by, also in-house with our okay. band, Princess Great. Anissa herself wrote the lyrics for the song, wow. and then I cool. sang on it. So everything was done in-house, and um, we're liking the feedback online. It's the first animated music video that we know of in our genre, Chutney Soka genre of music. Yes. So definitely I, let your viewers know. <laughs> I was on very YouTube, excited because I said, wait a minute, animated? Who's doing this? Then I said, the Super Toads fans and King Rock? I said, this is exciting. Yeah, so computer animation on like, YouTube, wow. definitely. And your I viewers are going to see it here today. Yes. That's right. We're so excited to see the video. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm glad to know that uh, it's it stuck, it stuck in your head, oh the melody, yeah. and I've been getting that from a lot of people. So, you know, it's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, it, it just has this, this natural um, beat to it that if you hear it, you just, you will sit down and you're, you're writing and all of a sudden you're like singing it. You're like, where did this come from? I wasn't singing this before. It, it, it's really great. Um, Thank you. Pressure. Thank you, right, pressure. pressure. <laughs> and then you think about today in life, and there's so much pressure. But your pressure, you're, you're in dancing, and you're exactly. on the dance floor. And then it was so cool because you had, like, you know, the super tones. You had the little, the little things, subtle things that you see in the video. King Raj, the ah, stops. You, you get know. it. You get it. <laughs> I, you, that's what you tried to do. The audience, you, you have to get it. It was awesome. And then the little ladies dancing and the animation of King Raj. See? She's giving it away. Now you got to check out the video, right? Tonight I 
Thank you. I'm sure the viewers out there loved it. You're dancing out there, right? That beat just got to you. <laughs> now it's going to be in all of our heads again <laughs> for the next 24 hours probably. Yeah, you'll be in the shower like, <laughs> what am I singing? <laughs> so what what inspired you to do this? I, I um, well, actually, the way the song <laughs> Pressure was created were, was uh, a few months ago. We were on tour in Europe and blessed to be there. Uh, my band, the Supertones Band, myself, Avi Nash, Avi from our band, Princess Anissa. We were there on tour um, in Spain and Holland. We had a few shows in both places. Wow. And we basically represented the Chutney Soka industry um, from America. We were the only nice. Americans there to, to represent Chutney Soka. The only other uh, band that was there as well doing Chutney Soka was from Trinidad, Delina okay. Don. So we were uh, you know, very fortunate to share the stage with them. Nice. And I remember being on stage <laughs> in front of all those people in the audience and these European ladies are all on the dance floor and all I could think of was Prussia, Prussia. <laughs> Pressure. You're feeling the pressure. That's right. So <laughs> you that's gotta how the song perform, came. huh? Yeah. What's it like before you go on stage? Like, you know, it's always a a little scary in some sense, or else I think that you wouldn't be human. But they say repetition is the mother of all learning, and because we've uh, been doing this, or myself, I've been doing uh, you know a number of shows every year now for the past few years with the band. Um, I would say it gets easier and easier overcoming those fears. But I'm also a risk taker. I mean, as you can probably see from my social media, <laughs> anyone that follows me, I love anything with adrenaline, uh, a rush to it. Um, you know, a quote from Braveheart. You like to be challenged. <laughs> yeah. A right. quote from Braveheart that I love is, uh, everyone <laughs> dies, but not everyone truly lives. And for me, when I'm on stage performing, that anxiety and everything else and, and engaging the audience and having them uh, interact with myself, to me, that's truly living. And I love that. And that's why you see me do things like skydiving several times. So and you get an adrenaline when the crowd is going. Of course, of course. And it's a Ooh. great feeling to know that you're actually commanding that audience to do whatever you can. And it's also a humbling feeling because it's a lot of responsibility as well. You know, but to, it, it's an amazing feeling to do that. And it's a passion of mine. It's grown. To be a do you write some of your songs yourself? I actually don't do any of the, the lyrics writing the songs. Most of my songs, I would say that uh, I had the idea, and then I went to a lyricist, the writer, and said, hey, this is what I'm thinking of doing, and then they would actually put it into the, the form of a song or the melody and so forth. So I don't do any of the writing. However, a lot of the ideas are mine. Well, that's very creative, because that's the beginning once you have that idea that you could, you could bring it and, and make it into something more. Once you have something to work with. And yeah. I believe that, um, you know, we don't have to be the best at everything, but as long as we know where to find those people that are better than us, then so, so I'm basically a student of that philosophy. So I don't mind going to someone else who I know already is a great writer. And, and like Princess Anissa from our band, for example, she is that. So why would I try when I could save time and energy? I like to be efficient. Right, right, definitely want to be efficient. And you're working with such wonderful people in the Supertones band. How did you get started with them? You know, it's a blessing uh, almost every day I think about it, and every time I'm on stage, I'm like, wow, because I'm not one of the average artists in the Chutney Soka industry, or artist period in the what world. What got you into it? That, that <laughs> they grow up thinking, oh, they're singing and they're going to do this one day, and they're trying. No, I'm probably the only one with no experience. I didn't come from a family that had experience professionally singing on stage or any of that. So um, for me, it was just singing for fun. Uh, when I was a young kid, it started out in the mandir, in the churches, just basically wanting to get my dad's approval, like any kid 
you know, would want, and he wanted me to sing the religious songs in church, the bhajans. Nice. And that's what I was doing for years, not great or anything. And then one day, um, probably uh, as an adult, then uh, someone at the end of a wedding maybe asked me to try a chutney song, and everyone loved it. And then from there, I just <laughs> kept singing at little shows. And Terry Gajraj, Gayana Babu himself, yes. he basically found me at, at shows and, and encouraged me to go to more shows. And then he had me, he, he basically introduced me to the band, Avi and Anissa. And from there, it was just, they became the bridge from where I was to where I'm going. Wow, and, you, and, and you're still together today. Absolutely, we're you a family. You guys are doing awesome things, yeah. wow. That's, yeah. that's pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun when you were friends, it's not work. Right, it's, it's always good to do something and not feel like it's work. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that's good, so you found your, your passion, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was always my passion, singing, but not for uh, a large audience or anything publicly. It was always just me at home by myself um, with the harmonium, the organ, just singing. And to me, that connected me to just uh, a higher being, it just connected me to the universe more, and I liked it. To me, that's meditation. You know, I was, I was reading up on some things about you and how you, you like to study new things, and you're always interested in learning something. Uh-oh, reading up on me, uh-oh. And uh -oh. I said, wait a minute. Don't believe I me. didn't believe that you had such a spiritual side to you. Oh yeah, it's funny wow. because when people see me at shows, the chutney shows, <laughs> and I'm all dancing up in the audience and, and everything else, and then they go to Mandir or so church the next day, and they see me doing this, you know, the religious songs and everything, um, which I love. That's my heart. That's my soul. That's how I grew up, wow. and that's how I'll always be. Um, and, and I find fulfillment through that. So yeah, people are usually surprised at that as well. Yeah. So I guess that's how you came up with the song to do uh, Don't Study It. How did that come about? Don't Study It? Well. Even as far as uh, being spiritual and growing up in religious environment, most of the singers in the Chutney Soka industry actually did grow up in temple. Mm -hmm. And that's where they learned their, their singing and, and instrument playing and so forth, which a lot of people don't know. But for Don't Study It, <laughs> that was a band project okay. that was uh, by myself, Quintus Anissa and Avi and another gentleman, Dave Lau from Florida. And that music video, which your viewers are about to see, <laughs> is what many call one of our best music videos yet. It's, it's our latest one that the whole band did together. Nice. And there are clips from Jamaica, okay. Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, okay. Miami Carnival, and the pictures from all over. Great. But the whole purpose of that video, don't study it, is because, and you'll see when it starts, you see you get the phone calls from the bill collectors maybe, and you're worrying about working, and paying off the bills, and stressing this and that, relationship it's problems. It's so relative to today and what yes. we're going through. And the wow. hook is, don't study it. Just don't <laughs> study it. Don't Just let it going. get to you. It's a that's positive song. That's such a that's inspiration right there. Yes. Keep going. Don't study it. You go through so much life. <laughs> You know, definitely. <laughs> Super Tones Band, worldwide. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow's a hangover. We just needed time. 
Montana. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a very beautiful video. Very well done. Wow, you. you've you've traveled. Yeah. So, um, King Raj, what um, what? What's, give us a little inside information about you. Inside information. Yes. Something that you've never told anyone on the show before. Give us something different. Tell us what it was like growing up, where you grew up, work us to where you are today. But make it short. Quite. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> Most people always want to know whether I was uh, born in Guyana or Trinidad. And the answer is neither. Neither. I was born in America. Okay. But most people want to know if I'm Guyanese or Trini. I'm actually both. My parents are from both, so I'm a half and half. Yeah. I'm a hybrid. 2015 hybrids are in, so thank <laughs> you very much. Um, so that, that's basically uh, my background. I grew up, I was born and raised in Jersey City, New Jersey. Don't hold it against me, New Yorkers. Mm. Remember, New Jersey is the Jersey, light. Jersey, wow. Jersey is the light <laughs> at the end of your tunnel. Okay. okay. <laughs> it sure is. So, uh. um, what was it like going to school over here? And then, you know, what's it's, it's remarkable. You studied. You were in the IT department. Yes. Yeah, uh, I, that's something a lot of people yeah. uh, <laughs> probably never bring up and don't know about me. Yes, is I am a geek by nature. I'm a total techie guy. Um, but I you're an outgoing geek. Most well, geeks are with the glasses. That's what's and funny. That's the why these, these personality assessments. Yeah, the personality and assessments always get me confused because even though I'm I'm a techie geek uh, that loves computers and, and technical things, but yet this other part of my brain, which is why I like singing now, because I get to use another whole hemisphere of my brain to be uh, creative, which I haven't always done as much. Um, I have a bachelor of science degree in computer science. Um, so yeah, some real boring technical stuff, but yet on the weekends I was going out having fun clubbing and to shows and parties and things like that. Whereas my other classmates never did any of that. They stayed in a corner of the room <laughs> doing programming, you know, all day and night, right. all, all, every weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, you go to school and you study <laughs> networking and then you go and get a job and you're like a doctor on call. So most of the time you're waiting for the phone call mm -hmm. and then you got to go through these challenges, but you got to be pretty witty to go through solving the the situation so I guess it helps with music because you got a lot of challenges as well I guess so but I think ultimately it's just I'm a student so regardless whenever uh, even in the business world whenever there was someone that was more successful than me in any area that I wanted to have their success like them I would just study them I take notes and do what they did and that's what I did when I started um, with the band as well I just looked at a lot of these uh, people before me and uh, saw what they did and took notes and tried the same thing took a lot of notes I heard 
<laughs> a lot of notes. I'm such you, a student. You, you were like, I, I got I to gotta get this right. The yeah. first try. No, no, I uh. can't do the first try and make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm sure your mother loved that about you. So yeah, do you she's have very supportive. a big family you're from? I do have a uh, sister and um, as well who's uh, a few years younger than me. I have my parents. They split up uh, when I was very young. And Aww. dad remarried and uh, had two other kids, my half-brother and half-sister as well. So come from a normal family, I would say, typical family. Was that hard for you? When they it was as a, as a kid, of course. Definitely was hard. I thought it was, honestly, the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. But how did you deal with it? How did you? I remember a teacher spoke to me when I was in uh, elementary school growing up and uh, very young, and my grades started to fall, even though and I was supposed to get skipped a grade. And then it ended up where I didn't because it fell a little bit. And she just basically said, you can make this the reason for you to not be good and, and be a failure, or you can let this be the reason that propels you further and turn it into a positive and not let that define me, that experience. And I was a little kid, and I took that lesson, and I ran with it. And now, if you were to ask me as an adult uh, what the best experience of my life is, honestly, I would say it was that worst experience, that same experience, because it made me the person I am today. It made me as ambitious as I am. It made me want to spend time with my family and not make some of those mistakes that maybe I grew up with for my family in the future. Okay. Do, do you feel that you respond to women differently because of what happened in your childhood, or, or has you're more open to being a different person and, and, and bettering yourself every day in every way? These are great questions, by the way. No one has ever <laughs> asked this. This is unrehearsed, unscripted. I told Linda, ask me anything. And find the wisdom TV viewers, you're in for treat. There you go. You know something about King Raj no one else knows. Um, to answer your question, I would say, as far as how I treat women differently from my childhood, I'm a mama's boy. Aww. So <laughs> they always say that females should try to find a mama's boy oh because yeah. they have a respect and love for their mom, and they would treat females with that same respect. So I would say, if anything, from my childhood made me treat females any specific way. It's probably that. I'm a mama's boy, so you know I love my mama and I'm going to love you too. Wow. That's good. Good <laughs> to know. I know a lot of females want to know if you're dating anyone right now. Are you? If I'm dating anyone. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask if I'm single. That's normally the question. So my, my answer to that is I am never married and no kids and I have my papers. <laughs> So it's not going to be like when you were <laughs> acting in the visa wedding. <laughs> uh, visa wedding, yes, a great uh, when oh I was yeah, acting in a comedy play. We should talk about that. What got you into acting? That was so awesome. You know, I would always see many years ago, and I, I still can't believe what I do today, the things I do, because I feel so blessed and fortunate, because I never would have imagined it. So I remember many years ago, always for uh, family get-togethers, Christmas time, Thanksgiving, we would put on these Laugh Till Your Belly Buzz DVDs, <laughs> and I was such a fan, and we'd watch it with the families, and th these were West Indian comedy. Right. And I always said, wow, I'd love to meet those guys. They're so funny. I love comedy. And then one day I met them, and then I started acting with them, and then with some of the same actors from th those series of skits. Yeah. And then from since then, I've went to uh, Guyana for many shows in Guyana, many times throughout the years. Um, last few years, and performed, acted in, in these plays that were like, let's say, two to three hour long plays, like full length Indian movies. I'm acting in these plays. That must have been hard when you had to change clothes and it was so hot. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea, Linda. <laughs> On set? Oh my God. I mean, there were literally imagine? thousands and thousands and thousands of people in the audience, and the clothes in Guyana are literally sticking to you. I have one of my <laughs> nice, expensive Express shirts, and I remember. I had to peel them <laughs> off of me so quick, and it's sticking. I oh actually ripped God. a few of them. Oh and they're like brand new shirts, and I ripped them just to get off of me to change so quick. Wow. And but you yeah. didn't have people that helped dress you or anything? Nah, oh, not okay. at all. Well, that's, you don't want them in that, in that kind of, uh, it's, it's just, too hot. You don't it's want nobody icky, it's just you, nasty, yeah. yeah. But since then, I went to Guyana with uh, the um, Nirvana Humanitarian uh, Group. Yes. It's a charitable yes. organization. So that's why I did the acting within Guyana. We also went with that play to Canada. Um, and Florida, and all these places several times, as well as a bunch of different plays in New York. So a very successful show is called Visa Wedding, like you said, very entertaining, family friendly. Yeah, I tried to do my research, you know, I had to. <laughs> I know, that's great, thank I, you. I, you know, I, um, you've done so many things. I, I really think you're an entrepreneur, you know? Thank you. Um, I wanna know, what are you up to these days? What, any new projects, anything exciting happening? A ton of new projects, <laughs> I'm up to so much. Um, Tell the audience. The they next know. music video actually is, you know, the last one before this was Prussia, um, where it was the first computer animated video. This next one is going to be unlike any other that I've seen in the Chutney 
soca industry. And I don't want to give away all the details, but there are some exciting things that will invite fire, swords, snakes, belly dancing. So that's going to be on probably our next Segment. episode soon <laughs> coming out from oh, Finding Wisdom yeah. TV. That, that's going to be awesome. Wh why don't you tell the guests a little surprise? They don't know something different that you're going to be doing for Finding Wisdom. Well, <laughs> uh, I am honored once again to, to even be on the show with Linda herself. I mean, I'm always a fan of you on uh, social media, on Facebook and so forth. And I have the privilege of being <laughs> able to co-host uh, a few future episodes of Finding Wisdom TV with you. So thank you for that. There you go. The cat's out the bag. <laughs> you know I'll be co-hosting as well. But we were very proud and very happy to have you and, and um, be more creative together <laughs> um, to have a really good um, new year. We have a lot planned. You know. Excellent. 2015, <laughs> lots of new and exciting things, I tell you. Definitely. And um, we're glad to have you on board. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time today. We will do part two. And we, I want to see the videos with the snakes and the fire. And I, I, oh my, you're going places with that, aren't you? You're going to be a magician so next. But you know what? I want to thank <laughs> people like you, um, Finding Wisdom TV, and uh, all of your, your, your crew here. This is a team, by the way, uh, a huge team of people here. It's not a small operation that's going on. Mm -hmm. This is a big project. And uh, you know, I just want to thank the, the different media outlets like yourself that make what we do possible to spread it out to the masses. So thank you so much, and, and all the viewers from Finding Wisdom TV. You're welcome. We're very glad, like I said before, to have King Raj also be a part of our team. Our team is expanding. And thank you so much for watching the Finding Wisdom show. You can reach us every Friday nights at 11 p.m. on Time Warner Cable, Channel 56, Verizon Vice, Channel 32, and RCN, Channel 82. You can also reach us online on our fan page, Finding Wisdom TV. We have a group page, and you can become a fan. Become a fan today, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's King Raj of the most toured international Chutney Soka Band in America, the Supertones Band, and you are watching with Linda Singh. Guess what? Finding Wisdom. Finding Wisdom TV. Boom!